Many people know that in Florida, in the United States, you can find Burmese pythons in the wild. However, as the name implies, Burmese pythons are not from the United States. They're from Burma, officially known as Myanmar, in Southeast Asia. So, how does a snake found in Asia show up 9,000 miles away in Florida? In this video, we're going to talk about that. Burmese pythons are natively found in Southeast Asia. The Burmese in their name refers to the country of Myanmar, which is also sometimes called Burma. That's kind of a complex subject, but just know that is where the Burmese in their name comes from. Burmese pythons are one of the largest snake species in the world, often considered the second longest snake behind reticulated pythons. They're also one of the heaviest. In fact, one Burmese python nicknamed Baby was claimed to be 400 pounds at the time of her death. If you ever get up close to a Burmese python, they are impressive. Personally, I have interacted with many and they are pretty large and also pretty docile considering their size, which makes them desirable as pets. In fact, all of the Burmese pythons I have interacted with have been at local reptile shops. They are not that hard to come into contact with. They're quite popular here in the United States. So to get into the topic at hand, you might be thinking that's why we have a wild population of Burmese pythons roaming around Florida. Well, no. The story is actually a bit crazier than that. The reason we have a wild population of Burmese pythons here in the United States is because of a hurricane. Specifically, Hurricane Andrew. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew hit the Bahamas, Louisiana, and of course, Florida. In fact, Hurricane Andrew was the hardest hurricane to ever hit the state of Florida. Hurricane Andrew was a Category 5 hurricane, one of only four to ever hit the United States. This hurricane absolutely devastated Southern Florida and located in Southern Florida was a large zoo and breeding center for Burmese pythons. This is bad. This is very, Stephen very bad. A. This center was destroyed when the hurricane hit leading to all of the Burmese pythons getting out. Now, this wouldn't have been a problem if the hurricane hit in, say, Arizona, where it's nice and dry and the snakes likely would have died out. However, hurricanes don't form in deserts. They form in tropical or subtropical areas, which are also the ideal climates for a Burmese python. What started out as a breeding population in a zoo has exploded into an actual sizable subpopulation in Florida to the point that if you go into the Everglades region of Florida, you can find an actual viable population of Burmese pythons right here in the United States, making them officially an invasive species. So why are Burmese pythons in Florida a bad thing? They're big, docile snakes that aren't really going out of their way to hurt anybody, right? Well, yes. While they're not going around hurting people, what they are hurting is native wildlife populations. In areas with Burmese pythons, reports state that fox, deer, and raccoon sightings all go down nearly 90%. Rabbit populations in particular have been completely wiped out in certain parts of Florida. They also eat much of the same prey items as the very rare Florida panther. No, not the mediocre hockey team, I'm talking about this Florida panther, which only has about 200 members left in its population. So, how have they been handling this issue? The FWC, or Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, what a mouthful, handles the Burmese python problem in Florida. Unfortunately, handling the problem often means killing the python. However, I must reiterate, as somebody who loves snakes, that this is necessary. Burmese pythons are not supposed to be in Florida, and as mentioned earlier, they're wrecking havoc on native wildlife. If they could coexist with the native populations, no problem, I likely wouldn't have made this video as there would be no crisis to talk about. There are many non-native reptiles all over North America that have integrated into their environments just fine with little to no problem. The Burmese python, however, is not one of them. To sum it all up, Burmese pythons are in the United States because of a hurricane. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting and until next time, thank you all for watching.